Mark Meadows, President Trump's incoming White House Chief of Staff, may have come in contact with the Conservative Political Action Conference attendee who was diagnosed with the coronavirus and, out of an abundance of caution, will self-quarantine over the next two weeks. His office said the North Carolina Republican tested negative for COVID-19 and has zero symptoms. He joins fellow Republican lawmakers, including reps. Doug Collins of Georgia and Matt Gates of Florida, who said they were in contact with the individual at CPAC. None are experiencing any symptoms. Dr. Oz shares his tips on how to navigate the virus. Gates was spotted riding on Air Force One last week as he learned the news. White House officials said when Gates learned he was in proximity to the man with coronavirus at CPAC, he sat by himself in a section of the president's plane. Click for the latest on the coronavirus. He told the Washington Post that by the end of the flight, Trump coaxed him to the front of the plane. Gates told the paper that Trump didn't seem hyper-cautious about being in the same space that I was in. Trump and Vice President Mike Pence spoke at CPAC, but the White House said there was no indication that either had met or been in close proximity to the infected attendee. The number of individuals who were in contact with the individual has raised concerns about whether the president was exposed. Stephanie Grisham, the White House spokeswoman, said Trump has not taken a COVID-19 test because he did not have prolonged, close contact with any patients. She also said that he has no symptoms, but will be closely monitored by his physician. Trump made a surprise announcement last week when he named Meadows as his replacement for Mick Mulvaney. Mulvaney will become the U.S. Special Envoy for Northern Ireland. Get the Fox New app. In a statement, Meadows said it was an honor to selected by Trump. Fox News' Brooke Singman and Alex Pappas contributed to this report.